Welcome back to Legend of Mana. So, before um, before continuing the Dragon Story arc, let's take again Bud and let's start uh, uh, collecting. Well, not collecting, but talking again to the sages. I'm gonna reshow again the 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 first one, Pokiel, for convenience, just to you know showcase. Well, this is the beginning, and then Pokiel just to see, just to show in a complete way this quest. Uh, before it was just uh, an appetizer, like, kind of like, and this is the, the complete version, just say. Anyway, as mentioned, Bud wants to study magic, so he... Uh, now you're talking! Yeah, I essentially wants to talk about with the seven sages in order to learn their wisdom, sorry, the wisdoms in order to learn their, you know, insights and... Uh, how to become a great wizard and everything. You know, and since they're scattered okay. all over the world, we need to go talk to them and search them. Question. Hmm? Yeah? When can you get this side quest? Can you, like, get the side quest, you know, after you've done these two side quests, or do you have to do some story progression? You unlock it, I think, uh, as soon as you get to the mine, uh, the mine artifact. Uh, but you cannot complete it until you get access to all of the sages, all the wisdoms, obviously. So, can you ascend? It's not, uh, it's not uh, tied to any particular arc, aside from the one of uh, uh, Bud and Lisa. Hey, it's Gaius! Um, so, in that case, though, is it possible to start this side quest, you know, before getting all the sages, or will it only do it after you yeah, unlock them? Yeah, that's, that's what I did, Jova. Then I just waited a bit and continued with... Uh, the remaining ones. Oh, no, 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 no. I get that, I man. Is it possible to start this one before doing those requirements and then you're just, you're, you're met with a blockade? Yeah. Ugh. But to, but to be fair, Jova, it's not like it can permanently be lost. Like, you just pick Bud up again and you go talk to them. It's like it's having a question. It's not so much about it. Oh, it's like having a quest in suspension, we just don't have the checklist that told you, oh, you talk with this person, but not with the others. So. It's not so much about it being potentially lost, it's just the fact that you can potentially start the side quest, but then you'll be plumb out of luck if you try to do it, you know, because, you know, you won't have all the requirements, so then it sounds like you'll have to abandon that side quest for a bit. Well, but you don't have to restart it from the beginning, you just need to talk to the missing sage wisdom, Jova. Hey, it's Toad! The, the turtle, tor turtle, whatever it was. So we just need to talk to them and do stuff? I'm yeah, because... Bud. I came to Bud. listen to the wisdoms to become a great wizard. Essentially, Bud talks to them, asks some, you know, pearls of advice, and they give to him one way or the other. Like, sometimes when they said, oh, you need to do this particular action, otherwise said, you must not... Classical, you know, mentor kind of like uh, uh, mentality. Ah, okay. It's more insightful and it shows a bit of character growth for Bud himself. I was about to say though, it kind of shows though how you know, how again, this game has sort of an issue with pacing its own quests and characters because you know, it's been so long that you know, Bud and his sister, um, Lisa. Lisa. Oh yeah, that's what the whole part of Lisa thing. But and his sister Lisa have been in our home for so long, and yet I've nearly forgotten about them because we haven't dealt with them in a while. That's okay, mm. Jova. Have some beta Kingdom Hearts music. <laughs> Who is also, this, Jova. No, uh, no, don't worry. I'm just gonna fill you in the gaps in the meantime. Um, th that's also the thing, Jova. Um, this is not a game that you can just. Uh, well, you can potentially pick up at any moment and do whatever you want. Uh, but if you want to get a better experience, it's one game that uh, you need to dedicate your time to it and not just uh, interspruce in between uh, other games, for example. Oh, I understand. What I'm saying is like, well, you know, games like this, Final Fantasy 7, 8, and 9, if they do get, oh, well, 7's getting a remake, sure, but okay, if they're gonna include all the side quests that were from the originals, there needs to be like some sort of grid or, you know, some in-game system. That is by choice. That allows you to keep track of what specific or cryptic things you need to do in order to complete quests or whatnot. Because, you know, maybe that was fine back in the day. But nowadays, if you don't quite deliver your quests... I don't in, know, Jova. This kind of hand holding seem to be... seem to imply that it rendered the entire process moot or, you know, insignificant. Because what's the point in exploration discovery 
on doing the side quest if you're just told what to do every single time. The point is that there'd be a choice about whether or not you can use it. You know, sort of like with Super Mario Odyssey. Sure, you don't have to buy hints, but you can buy hints as to where they are, and heck, even if you do get hints as to where the Power Moons are, they don't tell you, like, exactly where they are, they just give you an idea of where stuff might be. I'd say oh, that it's best Oh, by the way, get... Selva appears only, he, well, appears only when you have talked to all the other uh, Wisdoms. So he's in... the final and most powerful of them all. Pretty much. And he looks like a clown. Remember, he's the one with a... Yeah, he's the one that appeared in the dream with Matilda. Wait, that was a dream? I thought that was well, in real life. Hallucination, call it whatever you want. He's gonna show up again for the ending of the of the fairy story arc. Your childhood memories will help you throughout your magical career. Thanks, Salva! Do not fear the future. The flow of time is about to change its way. This is another one of those. The winds of change. People. This is another free. hint of the entire theme of the game. But again, I'll have to ask you to wait until the end credits. Anyway, again, my point here is that there needs to be something of a good middle ground here. Like you know, I'm not saying that you know to point us to where there is, but there has to be something to you know help relieve some player frustration for those who don't want to spend all their time just trying to figure out how to trigger a side quest or, you know, how to get this or that done. Like, you know, maybe, like, um, give a notification system saying a new phase of quests are allowed now. You know, they don't even have to be specific. But, you know, at least give the players something of an idea because, again, part of the reason I may need your help with recording Final Fantasy C9 is because for a game that's incredibly story-based, you know, you want to include the, you know, the quest to their full potential. But you have to sometimes do cryptic stuff in order to get quests to their potential. Like, I mean, heck, if you don't do stuff in a specific way, you can miss out on getting Yuffie in your party. Like, that's how cryptic the games and were back in the day. Like, you'd miss out on Yuffie, and by extension, you'd missed out on several um, side quests or, you know, world building. Again, there needs to be a middle ground nowadays, otherwise, well, it, it gets too archaic. Like, I kid you not, if Final Fantasy VII still has a lot of that cryptic stuff, even if people do praise it, there's going to be a lot more people hating on that stuff. Because Final For Fantasy sure. VII, the original, has the excuse that, well, it's the original. You're yeah, saying, Pedro? Sure. That kind of thing. I mean, if, if there's one thing I've never seen uh, no more doing his games, it's uh, 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 that kind of archaic stuff. Even, <laughs> even, even in Kingdom Hearts 1. There Unless wasn't... you count yeah, the fact that you... Yeah, more oversimplified is uh, this type of side. Yeah, I guess the closest yes. thing to that in Kingdom Hearts 1 is that they never tell you that you can fight these super boss Heartless after um, finishing up Hollow Bastion for real. Well, in the final mix version, they do. Hmm. Neat. All right. That leaves. The little boy got to find six of the seven witch kings. There are only six witch kings. Does it pick their name because the parents get... Maybe they can't do math. Maybe it's like Maybe. Sonic 1, where the seven They're Chaos Emerald was just chilling somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, but, but then how did the six emeralds activate? Um, the orange Chaos Emerald from Sonic Fighters interfered. <laughs> because... Also remember, he couldn't turn into Super Sonic in Sonic 1, so yeah, they didn't quite work. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, ex excuse me, Shiroi, but in the Taxman remake, uh, you can't turn into Super Sorry, Pedro, remakes aren't canon. Yeah. Because then by that logic... They log make flowers grow. Because, because, Pedro, by that logic, then that would mean that Cream was there all along back in Sonic Adventure, if DX is anything to go by. Hey, I and it's a problem. Yeah, that's I agree kind of logic, that. That's the kind of logic DBZ... Also, DX would make Sonic X canon to the that's game That's the kind of logic DBZ <laughs> Hedgy tried that's to true, use yeah. when he tried to... Uh, yeah, you know, actually, yeah, they had a point there. It's, for, it's for the greater good. <laughs> Try, <laughs> let's just say <laughs> DBZ Hedgy was... Um, Someone All who right. um, loved to defend well, Sonic the yeah. Six to the end of the year. the Skull Lantern. Oh. Well, it's less confusing than when Pokemon tried to have to do that. The, the remake what? has been killed. Kildane. An Alpine Pass. Uh, I'm sorry, the what Lord was all those Pizza. giant dark spikes surrounding the mountain there for a bit? We've entered the Tangled Universe. Yes. Good. For now, uh, cool. the all the black rocks start killing everybody.
But some bad things we need the Lark in order to progress. So we're gonna first need to recruit him. Don't worry, we just need to get to the tombstone. He's gonna be waiting for us already there. Don't need to get again to the underworld and everything. I'm sorry if I sound like a chronic complainer here, but again, stuff like this is what I definitely think they need to work on, you know, improving in the remake. Well, if there is a remake, because again, I mean, yeah, I mean, I know technically you're not gonna lose anything, but it seems a bit counterproductive that I'm guessing you only know that you need him by going there beforehand. Unless you're using a guide. But who wants to mm. use that nowadays? People don't care. Well, that's a problem then when you have people who don't care. I'm... Yeah, yeah, that's my problem. Why are you playing the game in the first place then? Again, 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 though, this game mainly has the excuse that this was done back in the old days when the stuff was newer and people were more accepting of it. I mean, sure, people will definitely be interested in this sort of game, but then there will be most likely critiques. Anyway, why do you even need this guy for this world? He's gonna be essentially a... Uh, well, not only he's gonna provide physical life, but he's also gonna uh, check on us, so to oh. be sure that we're... God, you're the wind. So you we need... have found someone. Same. Uh, go ahead, Waves, I'm as well. Oh, um... Don't be your early voice, though. Lark, so you finally found the other warrior. Sierra. Is she also an undead warrior? No. No, I'm, I'm the personification of a video game company. Do you not see? You are being tricked. Of course. Blasted Draconis! She's a unicorn, da, isn't she? Da, da, da. No, she only has that, uh... Why does he talk like a he talk like a Sierra character? Well, I mean, <laughs> seriously, 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 she had a horn there. She has a snout, and it looked like her uh, tail it's was. Well, remember, Jova, like it's a, I think it's referring also to old time fantasy games where some owners tend to have a circlet with a horn on it that make them look like unicorns. But Erica doesn't look like a unicorn. She just has a horn. Uh, Erica. It's actually she's called Sierra here. Yeah, I'm talking and about also... Erica from Final Fantasy IX. Uh, that's Aiko. Aiko! Aiko. Uh, that's from Pokemon, Joe, Aiko. Also, uh, that's because she's also underage, so her horn is underdeveloped. No, no, no. That means, like, well, even with the horn, she doesn't even look like a unicorn, like, she doesn't have a oh, snout here. Oh, that's because here. she's humanoid. Sierra is canine, similar to Dark. Wait, she's canine? I can't see what the up. Okay, again, I guess this is another reason why this game needs an HD remake. <laughs> anyway, we reached uh, a mountain village of birds. Mm. Hello? Uh, go ahead, Joe, as well. What a disgusting person you brought. Excuse me, fuck well, you well, too. fuck you too, then. Are these but... guys wearing plague masks We've or something? Yeah. Just that. Yes, Let me drama. guess. They're an incredibly secluded town who are so drummerphobic that they think that anyone outside we... will bring disease. Well, Jova, here's the thing. We don't really need to know. Well, I know we don't need to know. I'm just taking Wind a guess. Wind colors. Dragoons of a Kravator, eh? Or are these guys like the Airy? Similar, not that, not that similar, Joe, but not in the way you think. I have come for your master. Take me to him. Our master sits atop the mountain. See if you can make it up there, Sonic. <laughs> uh, hello there. How dare you! <laughs> Oh, Do you think we not know of your plans? I will not be passed by such attacks. Didn't they just challenge us to go up the mountain anyway? Uh, it, it was a provocation. Oh. So essentially, here I come. Essentially, what we need to do is to climb the mountain and kill those three guardians and the dragon. Just to see someone. We're the good guys, right? You know, right. we've just been told that we're being tricked. Is there ever an option to just say screw this and uh, confront what's his name? Well, it's not an option, but it's what's inevitably going to happen uh, because uh, uh, remember, Jova, he's bribing us, and so it's clear that he's not the, not, the not best just that, guy. Not just, not just that, Jova, but you just gave me an idea. Teo, did you let the game trick you again? 
Well, gosh darn it, Pedro, I guess I did. Okay, okay, okay. This kind of an issue I have with some games like this, like some do it better than others, like Pirate 101 actually does it pretty well with the moral thing, but when, okay, when games like this have you work for a guy who's clearly evil, treat your character like a dummy, it's usually so that they can bring up a great morality thing like, oh my god, you did bad things. The problem I have is that it kind of feels like you're being, well, forced, and like you didn't know about these ramifications, like, you know, I'm guessing that the game's gonna treat this like, oh my god, I would have never have imagined this guy was evil by the end. Assuming he actually uh, is evil. Oh well, we'll have to see each other because they, they're just the beginning of the arc. Also, why should this I feel sorry the for the? Why should I feel sorry for these guys when you know they provoked us and apparently they want us to kill them in order to meet their master? Because well, this is where it all started, Joe. Not just that, Joe. Remember, Draconis has told us that these three dragons are supposedly robbed him of his powers from jealousy. Uh, yet uh, they seem to have brought the prosperity and uh, life, as for example, why this town is. Uh... Oh, th that's nice. That's... And there you go. We need to get uh... all the trees for the bro. Wait, there's some souls? kind of barrier. Yeah. Huh. Anyway, so essentially, apparently the dragons. Well, I'll suggest that the dragons are robbing draconis of his power did it for a greater good, even in the worst case scenario. I mean, you know, okay, I guess that it would kind of be stereotypical to have the typical third option here, but I guess I kind of wish... But that's a problem, Jova. This is not, uh, despite the, the open uh, way of set side quest, this is not a game that encourages different options and everything all the time. That's... Oh my god, yes, that's a perfect sum up to another issue I have with this game. Like, you know, for a game that, you know, encourages exploration and whatnot, it doesn't also seem to encourage choice, which I honestly think well, that stuff like... honestly, doesn't need to. I mean, Oh, no, no, yes, I get uh, that, I get that. It, Let me finish. It lets you get the order you want, but the, the, the story arcs are relatively linear on their own. Man. Well, I was about to uh, add on to that. I'm not saying that, you know, stories like that always need it, but I do feel that a story this big, wide, and open that, you know, is pressing you to do all this just to get stuff What's right... Me? The boss scene? He's the boss scene. Oh, I thought, I thought, again, sorry, I thought, I thought this was from another game. No. I, that, that's, that's I, know, I, I, I know you don't like synthesizers, but... My, my, my issue with this track is that the rest of the track sounds PS1. This one sounds Super Nintendo. Uh, I don't know, dude. There are quite a few tracks here that um, um that wouldn't be out of place on an SNES game. Just uh, wait until one of the final boss themes. I'm pretty sure you're gonna detest that. Yeah. Anyway, my issue, my issue isn't synth in general. It's just how you do it. Uh huh. Anyway, um. Well, shoot, wait, where was I? The supposed issue you have oh, yes. uh, with this game about choices. Yes, I do feel that a game like this in particular, one that you know has all these different routes and whatnot. And to be fair, Miko, there are some bouts of actually really clear bouts of choice. I mean, yeah, the ending will definitely be similar, but I've noticed that there are some huge variations based off of some choices that you can make. Like, you know, whether or not you choose to decide with Escod and Dana. I do feel that, you know, they should have extended that also to scenes like this where you can at least choose why you're working for the guy or you know at the very least do something that isn't so obviously gonna lead to you did bad things so that means you're not a clear hero thing like you know and you know um for comparison's sake even with near near did it a bit more cleverly in that we were fooled like legit fooled even the players were fooled into thinking that we were the good guys even though we really weren't in the end but say compare that to the likes of this where it's as clear as day, we're being played for patsies and to the point where I'm pretty sure even the player character knows it. I just have the sneaking suspicion that it's gonna be one of those things that goes, Oh, you did this because you were morally wrong thing, screw anything else. It's, um, to a lesser extent, an issue I have with Undertale, though Undertale alleviates that by having three different routes, and even then, you have the little, um, good old PC trick to, um, uh, rise above the consequences. Screw you, you know who you are at the end of Genocide Route. <laughs> but my point here is that I do feel that, again, for a game this big and wide, there needs to be a certain level of choice. Again, a reason why I think Breath of the Wild did this better, in a sense. And, and, and well, again, 
And again, I'm not saying that this... Draw, well, that's the thing, Jova. This game tries to be open, but at the core, it still is bound to some of the RPG logics that essentially makes it uh, streamlining uh, the things that it does. If you want to... Honestly, I don't know even with the capacity of PS1 if they could pull out something that you described. I understand, I understand. And again, you know, this game is, like, really old, so it makes sense that, you know, it might not have pulled off some of the things that I did. What I'm saying is that if there is going to be a remake, it needs to um, get up with the standards in a sense. Needs to and fix what needs to fix what was broken in this version. And there you go, the barrier is gone, so we can go defeat. The, so the, the barrier was barrier. tied to the souls, you know. Okay, I never get why. Yeah, well, that, that's, that's the thing, Jova. Those souls were the ones of the guardians, so it makes it makes sense that. The, those unlock the passage. You know, I never get games where the mooks Kui say, you have to attack us in order to lower the barrier. It's like, maybe you should be Over trying to keep that a secret, guys. Overconfidence. These were clearly arrogant birds. Yeah. Brave birds, as Pokemon would call them. Anyway. Expression. All that's left to do is to get to uh, the dragon, and we should be done. I think it's right oh. up there. There you go. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Anytime. Anything Any you other uh, uh, guys want to say? Nah, no, don't worry. I'm fine. Also, Laval the Alarchy is there. And I'm fine. Also, Larky is obviously being the dragoon and everything is the brooding, uh, typical solitary shadow type. So. Yeah, what was up with dragoons being the brooding ones? Like, like even Freya has that whole um, angsty thing going for her because kind. her love it's, is it, gone. It, it all traces back from Kain from Final Fantasy IV. I am... to... okay. that, that's the thing, Jova. While Kain himself had a decent story arc in Final Fantasy IV, it set a standard that people try to use with mixed results. It's like with Cloud in Final Fantasy VII. A lot of people who try to rip him off forget that he actually could smile and be upbeat. Yeah. Even Square themselves forgot it for Kingdom Hearts because they fought Cloud and, uh... They thought Cloud and uh, Vincent. Vincent were too similar. Well, that, as I already mentioned this, Jova, in, at least in, in Kingdom Hearts 1, at least Cloud is more determined. While in 2, he's just depressed because he needs to get the, the Advent Children version. Oh, I get that, what I get that. What do you want, Wolves? Oh, I get that, I get that. It's just, I never got why they saw him as so similar And to now we're slaughtering also the rest of the village. <sighs> we stop you with our lies. Such worthless lies. Aren't you like a mole? Hi, then I shall take your lives from you. So we're trying now to kill- Now what, literally teleports behind you? Eh? Nothing personal, kid. It's not. Well, I guess Lark did it instead of us. <laughs> you know, I'm just gonna say, even if these dragons really had stolen the power from Draconis, the, the stuff they've done with those powers, you know, giving life and land to people, is that really something we want to kill them for? Apparently. Well, again, again Joe, uh, we don't really have a choice because Draconi says half of our soul. And this guy needs to us too. Yeah. I mean, I mean, you know, you know, again, with Undertale, when you do the genocide route, at the very least, you have the excuse that monsters were trying to kill you for your soul in the first place. So, at the very least, it makes sure to remember that monsters aren't too pure, even though certain characters seem to forget that themselves, Toby. Leave it alone. Again, again, Shuri, the, the, the comparison bears, but don't worry, I won't go too much in depth with it. So now we're killing, uh... An eagle? No, it's, it's just random monster, Jova. Huh. We're actually pretty close to the dragon anyway. And again, you you're, and again, you know, maybe the story will subvert my expectations. It's just... I'm kind of cringing feeling I know where it goes because it seems so clear-cut. Huh? I'm not really excited about anything that's going on here. Akavator, the dragon of the world. Akravator, I have come for your mana in my master's team. Does the dragon at least speak? Oh, he does. Yes, sir. Go ahead, Jova, might as well. Are you aware of what he is planning? Do not, do not waste my time. Foolish thing, you have yet to learn. Um, Dragon, why not tell us what he's plotting so you know we, we can maybe spare your life? 
eight no. pins but since we're working with him we are automatically unstoppable but it's a good thing you mentioned Joa because you're on the right track foreshadowing <laughs> wow also these dragons are peach because he has a lot of spectral attacks so he gets moments where he gets uh, invisible and yet somehow and he can he... Yes, Somehow he has less health than uh, those tiny two birds in that uh, other place we fought where they had brood and green. Well, and you need to compensate with defense and uh, the fact that you cannot army in everywhere. Ah. Every time you see that thing, it means that I cannot hit him because those parts are too uh, strong to be actually to actually give them. Oh shit! Oh snap! Be strong, Dark Star Rabbi. There you go. Oh. Well, if I had to be honest, Joe, about the these arc, it may be predictable and not give you a choice and everything, but it will still take you some of the fairy story arc all the day. I understand, except when the best thing you can say about an arc is at least it's not this arc. I know, I know, I know, I know, it's such a shame because dragons are usually cool handled in uh, JRPGs. Like, heck, I even like. Okay, Bahamut's design wasn't the best in first team, but. At least he was still fun, and like I said, uh, the final boss fight in 13 2 was at least um, visually cool with the bosses. Good bad things for me, yeah. Again, again, again. It just feels like a bit of a waste of a great concept like dragons. Well, not every game is Skyrim, Joel. What can I tell you? Well, heck, even Dragon's Quest, which is sadly normally about killing dragons, it does interesting stuff. Dragon dragons. Quest. <laughs> yeah, the end. And, I thought, and I thought I was loud uh, when I complained about people mispronouncing names. Hey, he does it all the time. He does it every single time he mentions right, about Dragon Quest. I honestly don't go. even really yeah, notice on. if I say it right each time. Rainbow. Rainbow. Death. Rainbow. Also, is, geno is genocide really pronounced genocide in America? Um, wait. Oh. I thought it was pronounced genocide over in the. Hey. No, it's genocide. No, it's genocide. The underworld awaits you. Well, it's we pronounce it both guess. ways in America. That's how that, that's how Brett King would pronounce. And now, essentially, what Clarkism is going to do is going to absorb the crystal. Like a mana stone, still pretty small. You know, um, it's. Dio, yeah, this is a war from their colonies. Take it. Why do I have to absorb the thing that looks some um, way bigger than... Actually, Lark, Lark is gonna do it. We got to the Architect for the next uh, quest. Oh. Now we actually have a choice to ask him a question, I think. I receive the power of mana. Well, wait. Never mind, it's the power, not the legend. Oh, you're still alive. Why? Why do you do such unspeakable acts? Because angst. No, no, no. And that's it. Wait, so, I thought you said we were gonna get a chance to talk to him. It's gonna be up in the next quest. The jaw, sorry, Joa. Okay. For now, he's just gonna be absorbed the stone, and uh, that dragon is done. Two and, remaining. And don't worry, audience. It's not like you know I actively hate this story. I mean, it's kind of just begin. It's just. No, I get what you mean, Joa. In a sense, I'm just thinking that uh, compared to what you said, we should be a bit more balanced rather than. Being the opposite side of the spectrum. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Okay, yeah. Like I myself said, there needs to be a middle ground, and you know, maybe my idea isn't the best, but there definitely needs to be a change so that players aren't too lost. Mm. Anyway, do we just need to report, uh, and we're done. Remember, Dark just leaves you if you got your own. Yeah, yeah. Report. We <laughs> Wait, re report. You make it sound like the cat is his boss. Awesome. Well, Joba, look at. Well, Joba, let's let's like put it this way. At least it's not like in Blue Dragon when they tell you you're supposed to go back to the val to to the village, and even though you're supposed to move forward. <laughs> yeah, that's the stupid. That's the that's that's the pinnacle of incompetence in, when it comes to you know conveying things to the player. <laughs> and that was a 360 game as opposed to a PlayStation One game. You had one job, Sakaguchi. You had one job. Sounds typical, actually, of Microsoft-related products to be somehow what? Uh, going what? back to a lower value than their previous hey, iterations. Hey, hey, All hey, right, please. What's that in Portuguese? Well, say after. Say after I've, I've done this bit. Okay. okay. So my master found lots of birds today. 
I want the raccoons to be poked around by their beaks. That's all you have beaks. to say about us slaughtering innocent lives, kid. Yeah. Have yeah. you ever been bitten by a swan? <laughs> have you, um, Heroy? They, they you'll, actually have you'll, teeth. You'll, you'll, you'll turn into a swan princess? I, I <laughs> Did Jordan that happen Pedro, to you, Pedro, that's, uh, that's well, actually they mentioned... werewolves. Not... Well, they mentioned birds. Well, you never Should... know, Tio. Maybe there's a werebird. And, <laughs> and, she, and she'll even become bland as fuck and sing terrible songs. I mean, to be fair, Tio, we know that in England there are were-rabbits, so why not? Um, yeah. yeah. Alright, then. In the next yeah. part, we continue the slaughtering. See ya. See ya, See ya then.